Need for Speed Heat has a map. That's the news for today. This video is going to combine a few things, including obviously the map and some gameplay you're actually going to see here. I managed to escape from some of the races and do some free roaming exploring. That's going to mix in with some police gameplay. But I want to show you some areas around the map basically in this gameplay and give you more of an idea of how the map's kind of organized and constructed and so on. The map, as far as we know, is the distance of Payback. So Payback's map was kind of split apart, very open. And the, the problem was they basically needed to we spoke about this before. There's longer highways connecting these roads together or these districts together. And it kind of just felt like such a long, boring drive to get to that. Now, what they've decided to do is take that space and fill it in with all this stuff. It's now a more dense area, but it's the same distance as the previous game. And they said up to 100 kilometers of more road, I think. I think that's what they said. It's very clear to me straight away that the map feels so much more lively. And it's hard to say why other than obviously there's more cars on the road for those that don't know uh, there used to be a lower limit on how many vehicles they could display on screen they've increased that number to about 16 cars on screen which is why the multiplayer is now bumped up even more you can have 12 player races and 16 player online sessions which is rather exciting it's such a small change but in reality it's such a big difference in the experience the lobbies are going to be so much fun i can't wait to play with you guys on that cops will free roam and obviously that also accounts for the roaming traffic as you will traffic will count as those 16 cars so you're going to see a lot more of those on screen and also that accounts for the free roaming cops and cops in general and also, All Drive has returned, which means you're going to see people driving around, free roaming around with you in the world as you play through Need for Speed Heat. And that means it's going to feel a lot more lively because these people are going to interact with you and stuff. Again, you can play the game offline if you want to. You're not forced to play online. But if you are online, you happen to be online, you can actually interact with other people. And it will, I imagine, prioritize your friend and your crew over those random people. So that's how the game is more lively. That's the distance of the map. But we know exactly why you're here. You kind of want to see the map. Oh, boom! Now, this map was created. Now, I'm going to have to read this. The map was made by one CLK GTR AMG. That sounds very much like a Mercedes name. But the version I'm using right now was actually created by Eliam 4. <laughs> Essentially, the original was created of the mini maps and then the other guy decided yes i'll draw around and make this map as you see so this is the map that we see right now this is the map we've seen actually i tell a lie there is a more updated map from the original guy see okay, it gets very confusing and i apologize this is the map as far as we know it in its full detail from the mini maps and the gameplay demos that we have experienced maybe i can contribute towards this i don't know how far i actually went in the demo but essentially this version allows us to see a little bit more detail. It's a little bit clearer. I do know one thing about the map, but that is the fact that they have decided to add more landmarks and more drops and ups and all these kind of swoopy roads to give you a view of the city as you drive in. This was something that we were told quite a long time ago. And we get to see this in action in a few, quite a few races as well, which is really, really nice. There's some races you head straight out and you see the whole city glistening. And the funny thing is that, that was a thing in 2015. You could do some road and you can see the city in the distance, but you could actually never get to the city because the city was out about. It just wasn't an actual built up area. It was a part, it was a floating thing above the city where you couldn't get through. They, they had limitations, okay? And they seem to have broken past a lot of those limitations with this game, including the car limits, which is insane. They've added more cars on screen at once. Now, there's a few things I want to pick out about this map. And the first few things are pretty important to me as someone that likes to drive cars a lot, hence which is why I'm a Need for Speed channel, obviously. What seems to be a racetrack is positioned on the screen here. So I know for a fact that it is a racetrack. I'm pretty sure other people have uploaded gameplay of this racetrack. You can drive in, you do the loop. It's kind of like a NASCAR ring. Uh, it's got an also dirt kind of track in the middle of it as well. It's very run down looking. It kind of reminds me of, do you remember the race on Need for Speed the Payback? Uh, th 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 that kind of track layout it was a bit weird i was hoping it would be like a new ah oh, beautiful glistening track but i guess it adds character and all that this looks like a second possible racetrack this is not confirmed the first one is confirmed a racetrack this one i'm not too sure it looks too good to not be a racetrack you know it's another oval track though so 
Thanks, creative. Unlike Payback, the city is the main area of this map, which is very large. This is the main city area. There are other parts of the city or the town or whatever dotted around the map. But you can see this is the bulkiest area. I'm not actually going to use it. My problem with Payback was it had a great city, but the only races you did in the city were in the first hour of the game at most. Past that, you, there were two races in the city. It was so bizarre. It was such a good city. To an extent, this is better. And the main reason I would say for that, you'll you'll probably see some of it throughout the video. A lot of alleyways and such, you can drive through. And this is actually something I said on my video recently, asking, we need more alleyways and stuff. And this is genuinely something I didn't know they were, were actually like focusing on. They have definitely works on that. There are a lot more shortcuts and ways to get around and alternate routes and you the barriers are gone there's some barriers in place for more extreme cases but a lot of the places you can just drive off the cliffs and get to the destination like you can on forza now that brings me a bit of a crossroads i'm glad there's some barriers still in because realistically unless i'm in an off-road car i shouldn't be doing that and the road should be the quickest way in case of some race checkpointing has got to be a whole lot more focused because a lot of people will be cutting and jumping and skipping things i'm hoping they've got the checkpoint set right we'll see how that goes that's one of my main concerns about the progression of the races right now of the game but i'm pretty confident to know that surely the on-road races will be pretty solidified about people cutting corners like that there's also the keys which looks like a very nice area to drive in we also have a port which is super good because the port on Need for Speed 2015 was one of my favorite areas and even on Forza Horizon 2 was one of my favorite areas drifting around the crates and stuff I I've not really explored that area too much but it does look like there's some areas for like jumps and whatnot where you can have a ball basically you can have a load of blooming fun in payback we also have the drag strip which happens to be one of the, the areas where everyone stayed but granted you did spawn in that area this game it doesn't like there's an airfield in sight but what it does appear is that there's the highway that goes all the way through the middle of the map and it looks like you could probably get some insane speed through there so that seems to be the high speed area for this game a highway now they've added that in with the addition addition of the fact that there's going to be more cars on screen at once which is kind of conflicting ideas here but granted it makes sense hopefully there are uh, there is possibly a better area for going at the top speed an airstrip for example but we haven't discovered the whole map yet and then bang in the middle of the map we have got mountains and curvy roads and country roads and everything you would want if you like hot pursuit and, or drifting carbon canyons Essentially, we have the best of Need for Speed in this map. Now, that's kind of that's kind of what this game is aiming to be. We've spoken about this before. It's kind of like Pro Street, Most Wanted, and Hot Pursuit kind of shoved into one. I'd say more rivals shoved in than Hot Pursuit, but it, it's a nice mixture of all of them, not taking too many things from each one, but you know, still forming its own stuff at the same time, like the story and the progression of the characters and the theme, like the dark theme, but also light theme. It's kind of just making a solid need for speed that kind of makes sense of a progression of ignoring the fact that Rivals and 2015 existed. This seems like the best song, you know? It's like one of those albums you get. Now that's what I call need for speed. <laughs> the things to write home about, more road and as big as payback more road types more drops and ups and drifts and sloops and whatever you want it it's probably got them unless it's an airstrip the roads aren't split up like payback and it all comes together and flows together nicely there's more landmarks and the reason landmarks are significant i've spoken about this before but the reason is if you play gta or any other game for a long while you'd learn the map in fact i never use the map except i open the map i close the map and i drive to where i'm going i don't set a location i don't set a marker if i think oh i'm in this area i need to get this area i can know where to go hopefully this is one of those because of the landmarks if you think well, i want to get here the landmarks help guide you in which direction you're going am i going north south in my head it just all makes it all flow together. We'll see if that's successful when the game comes out. Because obviously right now I haven't had enough time to learn the map whatsoever. But I do know that I'm very, very excited for this map. I cannot wait to have some open lobbies with you guys. 15 of you guys in the session at once. It's going to be so much fun. 
be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and you're already in the right place for Need for Speed, Heat, stuff and news and gameplay and everything. Mate, tomorrow, app drop. I'll see you then. Until next time, peace.